people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. You know the drill at this point, we got some movie news, some brand new merchandise news, and actually, brand new, we've got some official news on t jock Ignited Collection. It's been a while since we've had an update on the Ignited Collection from Nixon, but this update is very, very exciting. So if you're looking forward to that and everything else in today's FNAF news video, don't forget to scroll down there, give the sub button a little tickle, and let's kick this video off by talking about something even weirder than scrolling down and tickling a button on YouTube. This is a brand new Glamrock Freddy themed hat that has been found at Spencer's as well as a brand new Glamrock Freddy beanie found at Hot Topic. The hat is at least pretty detailed, but Glamrock Freddy has definitely seen some things. You've also got an official render of Freddy under the lid of the hat and also on the beanie. Again, just that dead-eyed staring expression. But some merchandise from Security Breach that actually looks pretty interesting is this brand new pin. Depending Depending on what angle you view the pin from, it'll either display a picture of the Mega Pizzaplex logo, or the four Glamrock animatronics performing on the big stage in the atrium. It's a very interesting pin, I actually hope we can see more like this in the future, just think of all the possibilities. And speaking of brand new pins based on Security Breach, Hot Topic posted to their Instagram these brand new sets of pins. The designs themselves aren't new, in fact if you have the collector's edition of Security Breach, you may recognize these designs, because they show up on the sticker sheet, but it looks like now they've been turned into pins. And also, for brand new merchandise, we've got this amazing art of Springtrap on a mug, tearing apart his head, exposing his human skull underneath. And actually, the reason why I'm so excited about this piece of merchandise in particular is because we actually have a brand new official artist for FNAF. Turntail has finally been added to the official roster of FNAF artists. They make absolutely phenomenal art pieces. I really hope we can see a whole bunch of her stuff in the future, because like I said, she's absolutely absolutely amazing. Finally, 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 she's been added to the official artist roster. So once again, just a huge congratulations. Can't wait to see what designs we get in the future. Then we have a brand new 16-inch version of the radioactive Foxy Funko plushie. This guy is up on Funko's website right now with a coming soon release date. And here's just a quick comparison between the 16-inch and the traditional 7-inch plushie. And lastly, for merchandise news, we got Hex back in the news because actually in a recent Daco video, he showed off some concept art for their upcoming Wave 4 Withered Bonnie Plushie. You can see a whole bunch of notes on the sheet, including make the tail gray, more wires around his body, having the neck metal, making the fur blue slash purple. Looks like a whole bunch of detail is going into this Withered Plushie, as well as, I'd assume, the other ones. Also, something exciting about this plushie in particular is that you can actually remove his face to expose his endoskeleton head, just like what Withered Bonnie traditionally looks like. So that's a pretty neat detail. Can't wait to see more about these plushies in the future. And actually, speaking of Bonnie, let's now make our way over to that brand new T-Jock news, because yesterday Nixon revealed a very ominous teaser, this is what it looks like, and obviously it was teasing a brand new reveal of the new model for Ignited Bonnie in the Ignited Collection. In fact, he even changed his Twitter banner to yet another ominous teaser of the new model. And earlier today, he released these four images of the brand new model for Ignited Bonnie, and oh my gosh, I cannot stop gushing about these renders. The new model looks absolutely phenomenal. Actually top-notch stuff. The modeler's name is Gabriel. It seems like they're a uh, just a friend of Nixon, and oh my god, they just absolutely crushed it. Nixon also clarified that he's made uh, Ignited Bonnie a bit more buff, more bulky, so when he punches us, which, by the way, he did reconfirm Bonnie will be punching us, which I think adds to his creepiness, and also uh, Nixon showed off a video showing off some of the wires in real time, showing off how the physics of the wires work as Withered Bonnie is moving around. He even shows off some different animations of Bonnie. I absolutely cannot stress enough just how amazing this guy looks. The model, the physics of the wires, the animations, it all looks so, so good. And also, just one last look at Bonnie. This is him in Blender. Just a bit of a fun fact, he's got around 100,000 polygons on the model. And also, while we're here in the reply, Nixon also does say he's targeting a current and next-gen hardware for t jock Ignited Collection. So that is a look at the brand new model for Ignited Bonnie in the Ignited Collection. Tell me what do you think? Do you think it's an improvement? And down the line, I can't wait to see what Chica and Foxy are going to be looking like, as well as that brand new Freddy model. But anyways, moving on now to the FNAF movie news. This is going to be our final topic for this FNAF news video, which by the way, if you've not tickled that subscribe button just yet, please, it'll take a few seconds. Just scroll down and do so. First up for movie news, we've got David Huston in the news. He posted to his Instagram a couple days ago a photo of him and a few other children 
children on a bus. In the photo, you can see David, obviously. You've also got Grant Feely, who's previously been announced as a strong supporting role in the film. You've got two other children off to the left and right side. The one on the right is cut off a bit in the picture, so we can't see their face. But also right in between David and Grant, we have Asher Colton Spence, who has officially been confirmed to be on the film. We're not sure exactly what his role is going to be, whether he's another strong supporting role, or maybe he's yet another ghost kid. We're just gonna have to wait and see, but for yet another brand new cast member announcement, we have Jessica Blackmore, cast as Mike's mom. This was revealed through her resume. It listed her as Mike's mom under the, you know, the film Five Nights at Freddy's. It's gonna be very interesting to see what role Mike's mom actually plays in the film, because we do know, based on some leaked descriptions from Geek Vibe Nations a few uh, months ago, it seems like Mike is the main caretaker of his younger sister, Abby. So whether the mom is going to maybe die in the beginning of the movie, I mean, it does say riddled with guilt over a tragedy in his past, or maybe she's just gonna be absent in the majority of the movie for some reason. I don't know, it's gonna be very interesting. Tell me your theories in the comments down below. And lastly, for movie news, we've got a name that I'm so sorry, but I'm absolutely gonna butcher. Patricia Carrera. I don't feel confident in that pronunciation, but I swear I've searched like every where online on YouTube, I can't find a, an interview with her that so clearly says her name. Uh, but she's joined the crew of the FNAF movie as a executive producer. Uh, she's actually been with Blumhouse for a very, very long time as usually a co-producer or an executive producer on their films. Just to list off a few, why not? She was the executive producer on The Invisible Man, the co-producer on Ma, the executive producer on Us, co-producer on both Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to You, co-producer on Get Out. She's just done a whole Whole bunch of stuff with Blumhouse and in fact you may notice a lot of those films were very very highly praised. So once again just an absolutely amazing talent to have on the crew of the FNAF film. I don't know I feel like every FNAF news video we just get another huge name working on the project. So my hopes are going up and up the more amazing people I see joining the cast and the crew. And actually I can't believe I almost forgot about this but the other day was Valentine's Day and to celebrate the holiday Steel Wool Studios made a brand new tweet saying get ready to fall in love with this Valentine's Day. Whether playing solo or co-op, let's make this a day filled with woolly fun. Happy Valentine's Day from our flock to yours. And they included some brand new holiday themed cards for Valentine's Day featuring their sheep mascot. First one has them in a treasure chest of gold saying I treasure our friend sheep Valentine. Second one has them dressed up as Cupid shooting a bow with a pun of you've got my heart Valentine. Third one, will you be my player two? And the final card, woolent you you like to be my Valentine? And they've got a box of chocolates. I don't know, they're pushing some of these puns. And I'm not sure if they have a name, I might have missed this, but from me and the Steel Wool Sheep, we wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Or I guess since that's past now, have a good rest of your week. <laughs> so tell me, what are your thoughts on all the FNAF movie news, the T-Jock news, all the merchandise news, and that's gonna do it for this FNAF news video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.